Hello and welcome to Gabbit Media. I'm Grant Abbott and today we're looking at part two of the fantasy castle on the floating island. In this episode we're going to continue working on the base, creating our grass and creating the materials. So in the last episode we created the rocky base and we can use this for a basis for the grass. So I find it easiest to go to top view, face mode with three on my keyboard and then C to circle select. Now with circle select you left click to select, you middle click to deselect and you right click to come out of circle select. So I'll go into circle select again with C and start left clicking these top faces. Just roughly, I'm not quite sure which ones are top and which are bottom, and then right click to come out of that. Let's go around to the side and see where we want some more, maybe these two, and these ones here I would say. Mm, it's a tricky one. Are they the top or are they not? Probably around there I think. I might come over here and we'll see how that looks. So it sort of drapes over the top of our object. Now what I want to do is duplicate these faces and then separate them. To duplicate you press Shift D and it's a good idea to press Z now and move them upwards so you can see that they're duplicates and separate. I can now press P to separate by selection. You can also do loose parts because it is a loose part, it's not joined to any other, but in this case we'll do selection and it's created a new object. Now I can't edit this yet because I'm still in my original shape so I need to go to object mode and then select that one and then into edit mode. Now if I select all those faces I can extrude and pull them downwards so that they're overlapping my base shape. Now while still in face mode I can select the outer ring of faces so alt left click on one of the edges going downwards and you'll select a face loop like this I can press Alt S to scale by the normals and it should push outwards like this. That will help us overlap our rocky base a bit more. Now there may be some tidying up you want to do. So perhaps these ones here you want to overlap a little bit more. So go to top view and then perhaps push them outwards and maybe downwards if necessary. And just tidy up anywhere that you need to. So let's just quickly think about shading. I'll talk about texture painting in the next episode, but just for those that want to shade and give it a nice look, let's go to the shading tab in the middle here. Let's start with our rock. So I'm in look dev at the moment, and this has got a material down here. Let's call this rock base. So you can change the name of your material there, and let's change the color to a nice yellowy rock, perhaps a little less bright, somewhere around here. Not too yellowy, but not too white either. Somewhere in there, nice sort of, soft pastel colors in the middle of our color wheel here. So perhaps somewhere around there. Now I find with low poly work, it's best to push the roughness right up, generally speaking. It depends what you're doing, but uh, it gives it a nice soft feel. Now you'll notice it's changed my grass at the top there as well. So they're both sharing the rock base material. If I click on my grass now, it is a separate object, but the material didn't change. It means it's sharing that material with the base. So we need to create a new one. We might as well press the new material here, which will add a new material, but it bases it on the old one so it keeps the color and any other information you might have. So for this one, we don't need to change the roughness. I'm going to call this grass and change the color to a green. So again, I quite like the pastel colors around the middle here, but we probably need a bit more vibrancy or saturation across to the side here. Maybe a little bit less bright. I quite like a sort of yellowy grass, maybe over to there somewhere around here. Now there is a fairly sharp point that I'm noticing there, so I might want to go into edit mode, grab that one vertex, I can press GG to edge slide, to slide that out, and it looks all right now. Now I prefer to right click and shade smooth for the grass, even though it hasn't got that sort of chunky feel like the base has, so it's lost a sort of bit of its low poly feel, I still think it works a bit better in my opinion. You can now adapt your color, based on what you can see the grass looks like. So you might want to go a bit more saturation perhaps with this, but see how you get on. So a nice quick video today. In the next video, we'll be making the castle structure. Now I would encourage you to have a go before watching the video, and then you can see how I did it. Do share your work on Discord or post an image link in the description. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.